good morning. <laughs> good morning. It's mid of July and is uh, uh, the weather is absolutely scorching. So I think for the last 10 days, the main um, uh, purpose of us coming here is to water everything. <laughs> I mean, we only try to water things which really need to be water because it's all that kind of can and um, uh, there's no hose here and no direct water, but you know, we, we coping at the moment So in between all this watering we do little jobs and uh, this uh, vlog is just going to be a collection of um, Small jobs that we managed to do between watering and walking the dog and feeding the horse <laughs> and surviving so Productive Sunday morning, a few gooseberries and a disappointing few blueberries and a considerable haul of white and red currants. Um, another little harvest this week. Let's see if we got any carrots here. Hey, look at that. That's not bad. Let's see if we can find another nice carrot. It's not bad either. I'm just trying to see which ones are quite... Oh, that's just a smaller one. That could have lived a little bit longer there. Let's have a look at this one. That's not bad. And they all clean. There is no sign here of any hmm. <laughs> that's oh we've got we've got whole collection of ants here which we just disturbed but I'm not particularly worried of that. Okay, so we shall take these home. I have pots which are this size, which I don't know could be six inches. I'm not very good at judging that, six inches. And these which might be just four, so you can see the difference. And they've done okay in these pots. They just, uh, some of them are just trying to um, flower. They have flower buds on top. And I have to say, although the chilies I bought um, from uh, the garden center, and a couple of grafted ones, the grafted ones are not doing particularly well. So I'm, um, well, the jury's out. <coughs> Sorry, as they say. But um, the homegrown chilies catching up with those. Of course, a couple of those which I bought um, uh, in a garden center already have fruit, but these are not going to be far behind. I might just reconsider growing my own. So I'm just putting the compost. I'm not going to bore you uh, with that um, and sort of making sure it's all lovely firmed around. And once they finished, um, they're going to be watered in, obviously, just for the roots to settle and and um, the job is done. So uh, I'll show you the finished job, hopefully, if I finish this morning. So to show you the Yes, I picked ones, uh, some other ones that I didn't even realize. These are also homegrown. And although I have no idea what it is, it's got already lovely fruit setting on them. So they are not very much behind those I bought quite um, big from the garden center. And another example of, you know, how what a lovely sturdy plants from such a, um, uh, an appealing seedlings um, how quickly they can actually recover so I keep potting them on 
Okay, and that is the final effect. Now I can't resist. Look at these aubergines. Anyway, behind there, there are some peppers. This is what I meant. These are not, they've been really affected by white fly. I've treated them. I might just have to take them out, cut off the anything else that will not, you know, it's gonna die off and see if they're gonna survive. These are the shop boat peppers. They're obviously a little bit advanced. Well, much more advanced, but these are catching up. <clears throat> it's six o'clock in the morning and today's weather forecast is about 24 degrees Celsius. Um, so I am trying to put these um, these moves two in. Um, don't want them to sort of they suffering a little bit in a um, greenhouse. So I'm going to be treating them as if they were um, grown in the um, um, They were grown in. Um, I'm just gonna pick any rubbish I can see. So it's not wheat, it's ties and stuff. Although we try to clear that up as we go along. So what I'm gonna do is get this planting space for them, and then I want to water that before I put the. This bed been actually watered all the time. Because I've got some coriander and some seeds put it down which obviously struggled to come out. and Sweet Horizon most to plant it. I discovered at that row with the bit of a fabric just to um, give them a chance to establish and I will put a little frame for them within the next couple of days from bamboo. I think I have some bamboo I can sort of tie up with with some string. So we harvest potatoes as we need them and usually one or two is enough for us. This time we're harvesting for a friend of ours who stayed with us this weekend. So let's have a look. First, how much will we get from single arm? This one is Sharpies Express. So that wasn't the best, um, I suppose. I'm going to go to the next potato. We're trying to find the, where the potato is actually under the hay. If you pass me these, then we can get rid of, you, you know, what is not a next potato. Thank you. Oh, 
was a good one, I think. Let me have that. It's something really special to eat them straight as the skin comes off so easily. You just rub it in, rub it off really. One more? One more, Kevin? It's got the best part of the fine, isn't it? It's got the... Uh, yeah, okay. Mm. So that's, that is two Sharpies Express um, harvested. So we still have a few blueberries to pick up. We still have... Few, oh, I have to be careful because they are just basically falling off the bush. A little harvest of blueberries. Um, we had definitely more than last year, but obviously still nothing right home to about, nothing to celebrate too much. So I think for us, oh I'm sorry, five minutes rule, five seconds rule really. Um, I think for us, I think these blueberries could, we will probably have to plant them into the ground, just prepare the ground, use all that lovely arocaceous compost um, and hopefully they will be easy for them to survive and not to dry up. So little blueberry harvest. Well it's very very hot so we're doing two things at once, we're pruning and we are harvesting those black currants, otherwise we would have to do that later on in the season. So, oh, look at that. So we just take them and we will pick them off at home. They are laden with fruit and kind of, well, won't be any use. next year I think there is one more there uh, just there does that have any fruit? That's okay because there's plenty of new growth on these anyway. That's the hole. <laughs> and that would be it from us on this very, very hot Saturday morning. morning. <laughs> the brain is not working in those temperatures. Uh, so what have we done during... We've watered lots. We've, we've watered and watered. Our black carrots. Yes, I planted, uh, harvested some carrots last week. We harvested some... Oh, there's a little mouse there uh, sharing our food. Um, we harvested, um, I harvested some spinach, uh, we're harvesting soft, uh, you know, raspberries all the time. Um, what else? Uh, potatoes for weeks on end. Um, in fact, I'll be donating some next week to um, community fridge. Um, what else have we been doing? I replanted the, repotted the homegrown uh, 
peppers and chilies. Mm -hmm. What else? We put a cage up for the peas. We put the cage for the peas. We've planted the peas and put the cage for the peas. And hopefully that, that will be all visible um, uh, within the next uh, few weeks. But in the meantime, we'll just kind of, uh, we we'll really enjoy coming here in the morning because it's cool and, and refreshing and gives us some activity. But the uh, rest of the day, we're kind of surviving. So I wish you um, uh, cool mornings on your plots and uh, hopefully as we see you next week. And if you do like to see us again, do please survive, uh, su survive yes, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> and let us know what you think. Like or dislike or any comments are welcome. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>